Hello and welcome, my name is Eric Lanches, and this is gonna be optimizing your on-page for better Google rankings. And when I mean on-page, essentially we're gonna be playing around with the text, the words on your page, presenting a better web page uh, to your users and also Google so that Google looks at it and says, hey, you are more relevant than the competition and they rank you just higher on Google. So ultimately this leads to better rankings, more traffic, uh, all that good stuff. So I hope you're excited. We're going to jump into an example right away. There's no fluff or intro or anything like that. This is just 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 content. So we're going to use a Berberine side effects as an example keyword just because it's, a, you know, I don't think many people are trying to compete for this. Um, even though it is a good keyword and uh, yeah, it's going to be good for demonstration purposes. So if we want to rank for berberine side effects, well, the first, we want to make sure we have a good article. We have some good content. So I always recommend people just open up the first result, see what your competition is, and then try to create something that is better than whatever the number one spot is. That's really going to be the first uh, step in, in ranking for that. Assuming you did create something that is better, but maybe Google doesn't recognize it as better, um, we're going to dive into how you could improve your page. And we're going to look at some pages. Like I just looked at the number one result here, or this would be technically number one. But we're going to look at some results all the way at the bottom and show you, or essentially go over what the results at the bottom, like maybe result number 90 or something, could do to increase and go up closer to the top, yeah, essentially or ultimately ranking number one. So. Um, well, first, before, obviously, there are many factors at work here. There's always links, there's domain authority, there's there's all kinds of factors, but we're going to be focusing in on the text, the words that are written on the page. The first trick, and uh, not many, some people know this, not, not everyone knows this, is that Google will highlight in bold the most relevant words to this query. So if we type in Berberine side effects, Google is telling us that the most relevant words for this is going to be diarrhea because it's in bold, constipation, stomach pain, uh, dosage. That means um, that you definitely want to have these words that are highlighted in bold on your text. So somewhere in here, and I'm actually going to just just go. I'm gar guarantee. Well, actually, this this won't count. But let's say we type in. Um, let's say we look at this one, WebMD. It's ranking number one they are probably going to mention constipation. They're probably going to mention diarrhea somewhere. So I haven't even opened this page. Let's open this one up. And uses is a tab. Type in cons, constipation. Let's see. Are they in uh, side effects? Constipation. There you go. Constipation is here. And you also have diarrhea. So this is a special way of presenting the article. The users see it as tabs, but Google, when they see it, they see it as one big long article. So this is just a different way of showing it. Um, but as we see, as we saw, they are using the term diarrhea, constipation. What was the other one that was really important? Stomach pain. They're probably going to mention stomach pain, stomach upset. So this is, um, I'm sure they mentioned pain somewhere else. Dosage as well is going to be another term that is going to be mentioned. I'm, I don't even know where dosing It's called dosing. All right, cool. Um, so these are the most important terms that Google is re returning. The other ones that you could actually scroll down and you can see a, the Google lists a whole bunch. So here's berberines. You need to mention berberine if you want to go for berberine side effects, very obvious. Uh, but here is again, side effects. It's in bold. We're going to keep on scrolling down and see if there's any more side effects. That effect, berberine, proto berberine. So see, sometimes you actually find ones that you wouldn't have found otherwise. I didn't know proto berberine was related to berberine side effects. However, Google is saying, look, this might be a synonym. So this is essentially what you would want to take and put on to your page um, if you are ranking at the bottom. Now, what I recommend people do is you open up uh, a text pad. Let me go text edit. And you open up a text pad. And you just start writing down all the words that you see, diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain, dosage. And then you go through your website. Let's say this is your page. You'll go through it and then you could go and you could start making sure that you have mentioned diarrhea. So let's see if they mentioned diarrhea here. Yes, they do. All right, cool. Perfect. Did they mention constipation? Constipation. Yes, they do. So. This page that I, you know, it's one of the ones that are ranking, that's ranking a bit lower. They're mentioning both of these terms. Ultimately, you want to make sure that you are you know, mentioning terms that Google is looking for. Um, next is going to be 
uh, the si subheadlines. So subheadlines, Google gives more priorities to subheadlines. So if here we have the word berberine, which is great, and we also have the word dosage, which is great as well. So these are two very important words. If this headline was something like introduction, it wouldn't be as good. You wouldn't rank as high because Google looks as introduction. They just see it as being a generic um, head subheadline. So you want to use your subheadline subheadlines wisely and introduce content. So here you have berberine benefits. Um, you want to use your subheadlines wisely and introduce some of these terms um, that are Google is returning as re super relevant to berberine. So berberine FAQ. You know, okay, berberine side effects. They are mentioning side effects here. Other supplements. See, this is actually, they're doing a fairly decent job. We're actually going to scroll down and we're going to go all the way down, all the way down. Maybe not, not the ads. Let me go above. Yeah, this one I opened already. Right. Yeah, this one should be good. So here is an article. We scroll all the way down. This is around 90 or so. So let's say we are in position 90 and we want to go from position 90 to position number one. What do we do? Well, um, here we do the same check, see if it's, they're mentioning constipation. They're not. So here they're not mentioning the word constipation. And therefore that would be one of the words that I, you would want to add to the article in order to help it rank. Maybe they're mentioning diarrhea. Are they? Yeah. It's mentioned diarrhea, at least in the comments here. All right. So that's one of the things that you would want to add to the article if you wanted to rank for it. Now scroll through, they don't, they're not even using subheadlines here. So you definitely want to start using subheadlines, start adding that. The next thing you could do, if you want to go a bit more in depth, because right now we went through and we looked at the, the bold words, right? So bold words is just one thing. However, what you can do is you could actually plug some of the text of the top ranking pages. So let me take this one and you could actually take all this text and you could plug it into Google's natural language a, um, API, essentially their artificial intelligence, which will break down the text into how uh, computers understand it. So it's uh, there's a demo right here. It's called natural language API demo by Google. So this is how Google, uh, their AI understands the text. So I'm, I copied the text from that page and I'm pasting it. So essentially what I just did, I did copy and I'm pasting it into the demo and we're going to click analyze. It's probably going to ask me to verify I'm not a robot. Um, sometimes I wish I was, I wouldn't fail as much pain. Just kidding. Um, so now it just broke it down into entities, sentiment, syntax, and categories. So what we really like, or what we want to pay attention to is the categories is nice as expected. It's in health and nutrition, right? Um, and entities, entities tells us the words that Google recognizes as being um, within the, when they're reading the article, essentially. So they, they're not really paying attention to things like a powerful, but they are paying attention to the word berberine and the word supplement and the word benefits. See how the distinction, they don't care about with many. It doesn't matter. So if you're trying to rank your article, you want to increase, where was our example before? Um, yeah, this one, this one. So within my text here, adding things like as many or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It won't make a difference. However, this is telling us that the words berberine supplement and benefits might, might be uh, more relevant to, uh, to Google. So these are the, the words essentially here that we're looking at drug, heart health, level supplements, body weight loss. These are all potentially very important terms to Google. Uh, whenever you're looking for the entities, essentially the Google entities that are returned. Now, here's the thing. Google is going to return a lot of entities. And if you just plug in one page, it, it won't actually give you the results that, you, that you're that you looking for here. You have all the, the, the entities at the bottom. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to go through and look at all the top pages. You could do, let's say, the top 10 pages. You could do the top five. You could do the top 20 pages. You plug all of them in, you look at, you analyze and you pull out all the entities from the top 10 pages or the top uh, 15 pages. Then you'll see which entities repeat the most often. So let me kind of break it down here. So what you would do is you would do page one, the pages, no, right, let's say rank one, uh, rank one. Uh, these are the entities. Entities are, and then you make a list of all the entities that are returned here. 
then you would go and you would do the same thing with rank two. So then you could go and you could go page number, the second page right here. You copy paste all this stuff and you repeat the exact same process. I would copy all this content right here. I would plug it into the natural language API and analyze this page. And this would give you slightly different results. So here, maybe the, the you know, they have a uh, constipation and here, maybe they're mentioning things like uh, side effects. Uh, Berberine and then grape, uh, grape, Oregon, whatever. And then what you do is then you move on and you do page three and then page four and page five and so forth. And eventually what's going to happen is when you do, you know, the rank three, rank four and so forth and rank up to, let's say rank 10, you're going to find patterns. You're going to see that every single page um, every single result, uh, every single page that's ranking has, um, the word berberine and every page that's ranking has the word, uh, constipation. And that's when, you know, the terms that Google is returning. So you look at the top results, you make sure you, and then essentially you put them into the entity checker. And then you return all the terms that just keep on coming up over and over and over and over again. And these are the critical words, the words that you almost, that you really want to have on your page, because we know that Google seems to be rewarding those pages. And that's the typical, that's typically the stuff I will put in the subheadlines. I will put in the headlines. Now, um, doing it like this is very long. It's very tedious, which is why we developed the tool, right? So, uh, mega on page tool is a tool that I developed for traffic research members. And let me just show you how it works. So if I type in Berberine side effects right here, click submit. Now what the tool just did, and this is cache because I've done it ahead. Uh, the tool just did this process. So the tool just pulled out all the top results. It passed it through Google's API and returning the most relevant words over and over again. And it's just returned all the most relevant words that you would want to have on your page to get a better chance of ranking. So it shows you right here. Number one, berberine. Next research, then evidence, metform, plants, effects. So you want to make sure you want to make damn sure you have these words on your page to increase your chances at rankings because all the top pages also have these words. Now you, you could use different words. You could use additional words. You don't necessarily need to limit yourself to only using this, but if you don't have it, let's say you have, you're creating an entire page and you're missing a few of these terms. That's when you, you could get some benefits by adding those more relevant terms. It's going to make your page more relevant for that query. So if I go back to my example oh, and by the way, all the bold, bold terms that we were talking about before berberine effects, side effects and all that constipation, they're all here by the way, as well. And then we ha even have more relevant terms. This is another trick. We have more relevant terms here. Um, and these are all good to add to the page if you want to rank higher. Now, here's the cool part. Let's go back to the page that we had before, the one that was struggling. So this is, okay, there you go. This page was at the bottom of the ranking. So when I look, this is number one, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Um, there we go. This This page right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare and we're going to see how well it's doing. Compare your URL, let's paste it in here. We're going to see how it's doing compared to the term. So let's do submit and we're going to get the results. It's going to go, it's checking for berberine side effects and it's also checking compared to this page. So now this is where the magic happens, right? You can see that on this page, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have research. It doesn't have evidence. It's missing plants. It's missing medications. Uh, it's missing safety. It's missing cancer, obesity, um, Chinese drugs. So for instance, here, research is one of those terms that within this body of text, where was it? Within here, she would uh, get a substantial boost if she mentioned research. So maybe what I would do is here, I could have um, a subheadline that says, the research of berberine, um, or the side effects, uh, according to the research or something like that, just mention the word research that would help 
because um, all the top results are mentioning research. Also evidence, right? So here's another term and so forth. The tool even tells you the words that she's missing. So she's missing diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain. And also uh, we have another additional trick too, which is linking with relevance. It tells her all the most internal, the most relevant internal links that she could give herself. So if we open this, let's say we open up this page and uh, this page, let's open up these two pages. These are two other pages on our website. So this is, um, all right. Did I, where, where did I open them? I don't even know where I opened them. Did I? Let me open this. Okay, so here's like another page on her site. And this is a relevant uh, page to her main term. So within this, see they're talking about high insulin resistance from insulin resistance and PCOS. Um, and apparently this is somewhat related to berberine. So she could actually have a link here saying, hey, uh, there are studies that have been done with PCOS relating to berberine and she would get, she would rank even higher um, with her main article. So these are the ways using mega on page tool that you could do it. So you could do it either manually or use the tool tool will save you a ton of time and it'll tell you all the most relevant uh, words that you would want to add to the page to rank higher. So if you want to do it manually, as I covered, essentially you pull out all the, the bold words, then you, you would have to put it through the, um, the natural language checker and compare with your, uh, with your, um, main page. And, uh, if you want to do it automatically, I encourage you, uh, check out the mega on page tool. So the mega on page tool is actually, um, exclusively for traffic research members. It's available to all traffic research members. Traffic research members is where I teach. Um, it is where I share all my discoveries. It's also, so look, let me show you this. Um, you could actually apply traffic research members. There's an application. So you go to my traffic slash apply here. You can apply and we'll get back to you very shortly. Um, and in traffic research, essentially all my latest discoveries, all the latest stuff. So here we have a new potential ranking factor. We're diving into it. We have monetization of SEO. We have experiments. We have case studies. We have, you know, we cover tools. We cut, we actually develop our own tools. So there's exclusive tools and plugins like the perfect SEO plugin and all, all kinds of cool stuff that we develop exclusively for traffic research members. And we also have the advanced forums and obviously the mega on page tool. So there's tons of stuff inside traffic research. If you do uh, SEO uh, for an agency or you do SEO day in, day out, uh, this is definitely for you. If you uh, are, have a website that you want to rank higher, check out traffic research, definitely help you. So hope you guys have enjoyed this, how to optimize and improve a page. So you rank higher on Google using what I believe is one of the easiest techniques, just adding the relevant words to the page. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. As always, my name is Eric Lantris and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.